Um, good evening, guys. Uh, there's something I really want to share with everyone. Uh, it's the power of you documenting your life journey. This is very, very vital. This is very, very important. A lot of people don't understand what it is for you to document your life journey to inspire the next generation. So uh, people just get to, they, they just tend to leave these things. But you, you forget that what you're doing is to leave a legacy. Necessarily writing about these things, taking videos of these things, uh, doing, uh, uh, having pictures of these things is necessarily not about monetization alone. If you are in that church you're starting, for instance, now, and you have just five people in the beginning, put it on video. Have a video record for it. Imagine the early days of Kene Iegin. Imagine those inspirations of what he was doing back then. Even when they were two or three, or probably when the likes of Andrew Umar started a Bible school. What about the early days of Jeff Bezos having in his office? Of course, you guys know that video where Jeff Bezos has this Amazon.com and... Um, and just like my own office now, where he has this Amazon.com, it has a computer, and boy oh boy, Jeff recorded that stuff when there was no internet, when there was no social media as strong as it is today. There was just the internet, you know. I I'm I'm currently watching a video now, the Windows 95 launch, where Bill Gates was dancing with his executives. You know, record your life journey. These things are so important. You're gonna use it to teach your grandkids. You're going to teach your kids 25 years from now, 50 years from now, a 17-year-old child or a teenager, a 17-year-old lady, girl or boy will read about my story because I'm documenting these things face by face. It may be on YouTube. It may be on Instagram. It may be on Facebook. You're wondering, what if these things, they die? The internet will not die. The internet will not die. Have an archives for these things. Have a clear archive for these things. You could have them in cloud storage. You could have them in Dropbox. You could have them in systems that would not crash. I'm telling you, see how powerful these systems are. There was a particular news that trended that was trending last year, last month, yeah, or last two months, where a child went to open the Mac, the Apple computer of his grandfather. And the computer has been on for years, like I don't know, 15 years or so. And the same game the man was playing was still there. Think about it. So imagine the first, imagine those interview that, uh, 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 what is his name, uh, Steve Jobs will grant 1991, 92, 93, 94, the early days when they were building uh, Apple computers. Imagine what it is doing to us today. Imagine those lessons of the early, those entrepreneurs, what it's doing for us this period. See, I don't care the format you're recording it. I don't care if the, you don't need to have a, I just got inspiration to do this night. Normally if I'm to do a video, I'm going to have all the lights and some of these settings and get a good camera, my Canon, cam, uh, Canon camera and well, shoot it. No, but I'm doing this with my phone. It can be, somebody can watch this over and over again. Don't sleep on this. What you're doing is for legacy sake. Record your life journey. Record your entrepreneurial story. Record the moves you're making. You may not paste everything now on social media. Guess what? If Jeff Bezos was, if Facebook was around when Jeff Bezos posted that picture of him on, suit, on shirt and tie uh, in his office, then guess what? Just like you now, if you post your picture of you walking on your laptop, on your on your shirt and your trouser and you're doing your next your first contract you're registering your company you know some of you push, put pictures of your cac registration document and people don't even like it fine but i want to assure you something you have greatness in you already you already know where you're going you know the vision you're building you know something great you're doing you know that 10 years from now this thing will not be the same again guess what in 10 years time when you begin to talk about your story today, or a 16-year-old child, a, a, a teenager, sees that certificate you posted on Facebook 10 years ago, guess what? It will inspire the person. We're not just doing these things for likes. We're doing it. Remember what Bill Gates said? He said, leaders are those that will empower the next generation. One way you can empower the next generation is to also share your build story, your success story, your process story.
and grow from there. You see, church, whatever you're running, whatever system that is legit, that is legal, that is going to change the world, that is going to profit people, you see how you employ your first staff, how you pay your first staff, your office environment, the first building of your workshop, your garage, the first laptop you use in building, the first website, the picture of your first website. Go and check Airbnb first website. Your best, your first website, the user interface of your first work as a graphic designer. Put those things on documents. How you become a, a solid graphic designer, your process of growing from 2016, 17, 18, 19. Record those things. Picture, video, run a vlog for it. And I'm telling you, you're not just doing it for today, you're doing it for the next generation. I sat down with a, with a Swiss uh, vice, with a, with a venture capitalist last week, and I discovered the way these white guys they think. Think legacy. When you're building what you're building today, think legacy. Don't just eat for the now. Don't just do it for the now. Do it for legacy's sake. All right. This video will be on YouTube or on Instagram. Both of them. I'm sure it's going to be on YouTube. What you're going to do for me right now is this. You want to see more videos like this? Click the subscribe button. There'll be a bell notification. Click it and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Take on the notifications so that you can know when next I'm posting. I'll be posting raw, regular videos like this. The main thing is for you to catch the message. And when I buy my bigger camera and have a bigger team that will be working with me full time everywhere, videoing everything, it will get better. But for now, as long as I have a good phone to record, I'm going to record these things consistently to inspire you, to help you, to build and all that. This Saturday, we'll see at the Money Code Conference. Thank you very much. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.